LPT request what's your biggest tip for escaping the rat race? The rat race seems abstract, but very real as all too often people get sucked into it. What are your best tips for escaping the rat race and not worrying about money for good? Take care of your mental and physical health and get your trauma healed. Your perspective will shift immensely. Leave social media. You by default start comparing when you see others showing off. Start enjoying the now. Live your retirement lifestyle now. You only ever have the present. Since I started having this mindset, I feel so fulfilled in my life. I still work full time, of course, but I am able to leave work at work and able to actually enjoy life. When difficult things come, I still love my life. Even when I'm feeling depressed. On the whole, I still love my life. Respect your time and your boundaries because no one else, including your employer, will. Don't worry about what other rats think. Stop comparing yourself to anyone. Be the best you that you can be and not worry about anyone else. People's opinions of you are none of your business. There's a strange trend out there that would have you believe that owning more things is the path to happiness. But finding happiness in letting things go is a much more direct approach. The fewer things I have, the happier I become. Save money. And when you buy things, buy things that last that may mean spending more money for a quality item e.g. a good pair of shoes than you're used to. Also. Learn not to give a fuck and enjoy life on your terms people who win the rat race are rats. There are more sociopaths out there than you want to think. Build the trajectory of a life that's meaningful to you. Not them. Purposely live below your means. Don't look at what you can afford as your goal in buying things. Purposely buy things significantly cheaper than what your budget allows. It lets you focus on getting things that are good value or that match what you need, rather than just spending the max you can afford on something. Not advice that everyone can follow, especially with inflation. But if you make a decent living, it no longer makes you a slave to money. You don't need that raise to afford the next thing on your wish list. Stop buying things you don't need. Stop trying to impress others. Be content and grateful for the things you have. Avoid having debt. Avoid social media. Don't upgrade your phone every year. Buy a used car. Just don't do what the other rats are doing basically. Depending on your age, the best way to opt out is to start saving early and aggressively. Having money isn't about being rich. Building your wealth gives you back your time to pursue the things you love in life. Take the time to learn about saving money and turning your savings into a positive feedback loop. Through compounding interest a good place to start is our personal finance. Selling courses on how to make money to losers who want to escape the rat race. Learn to need less. Start by learning to want less. Getting more will never solve the problem. Simplify. Remind yourself every so often that comparison is the thief of joy. Learn a skill and you'll have something useful to offer to the world. Then you'll always be in demand and have a way to support yourself forever. I think a lot of others said it but stop caring about what makes others happy and just do what makes you happy. For instance, I have never cared for cars. My buddies always get the newest awesome car. Are forever in a lease or paying a loan. I have a 2011 that's been paid off for seven years. And is cheaper insurance to boot. Figure out the simple things that make you happy and invest in that stuff. Leave the fad of the day for the rats. Find a standard of living that you are comfortable in. And hover around there. Splurge every once in a while. But decent home. Effective car. And stable healthy diet. Don't fall for the poor man traps. Know when to spend more on items it might be more upfront to buy a good pair of shoes or good jeans. 
but if those items last longer than the cheaper option it's worth it every time. Move to a rural area. We have never looked back. Pick one or two things to spend on that really spark joy for you. Spend as little as you can on the rest disregard societal expectations nice apartment. Car. Live below your means. Forget about the Joneses. Invest on low risk. Steady businesses early and often. Invest in knowledge and apply it to get better jobs. Invest in your health also. Stop spending money you don't have on things you don't need to impress people you don't even like. I have a six-figure salary and still drive a used Toyota I bought 10 years ago. All my friends think I'm broke. But I'm just investing all my savings in low-cost index funds so I can retire early and leave the rat race for good. Check out our fire and our personal finance and our boggleheads. May not work for everyone. But don't have children. They are entirely optional. Do not let social constructs dictate their necessity. Not having to worry about stuff such as college tuition extra rooms for kids extra stress less. Personal time etc. list goes on does wonders for your personal well-being. You won't worry as much about money. Because it's way easier to support just your own lifestyle. Find free alternatives to everything. The internet is really good for that. Believe in your own clock. I'm just starting out my career. And starting at the bottom learning line manager retires in less than five years and she wants me to learn and take over when she retires. I have always been hunting to earn as much as I can but I will be a manager before I'm 30 and I was always thinking I would leave after two years for more money. But I'm thinking I will stay and it will be so much better in the long run in such a good relaxed environment than joining the rat race and earning as much as possible as quickly as possible. When you have your health, you don't need a lot of dollar. I am broke as a joke but wake up every day in no pain and healthy. I think I'm pretty rich. Find something you're passionate about or enjoy. There is no escape from capitalism. So you have to find peace of mind somewhere other than work. Live a life you can enjoy. Not what impresses others or is the American dream. Either that or come across wealth. You can marry into it. Win it. Or create a business to earn it. Spend less earn more invest the difference do this as early as possible. Keep your old car. Avoid debt. Work your ass off while you're younger so that even if you don't escape you're more comfortable. What working hard taught me quickly was what I liked and wanted life to look like 10-20 years. Later. Faster than you can think you arrive. Hopefully with an attitude of gratitude to your younger self. Find better ways to get your dopamine fix. Buying is an addiction. Wired to our pleasure centers. Also. Study finance. Learn to use leverage borrowing strategically to build passive income. Regular meditation and psychedelics. Like-minded partner. It'll sort you out. What really changed my finances life trajectory was transitioning to a one-car household. And getting housing on a regular transit line that takes me directly to work. We really only use our car for the occasional trip to a parent's house when we want to bring the dog. Even though our place is smaller than some. The removal of stress by getting out of having to deal with daily traffic is irreplaceable. I save approximately 10-11k a year. Have a fairly relaxed existence and don't sweat the small stuff. The best way to stop caring about money is to already have it. Seriously. My parents always had it. We didn't want for anything growing up. Now I'm just sort of long. I make okay money. I'm unconcerned with making more. I'm still living the life I'm used to. Change it? A man with simple tastes will always be rich. If you live in a major coastal city, living in your car for a month while working will allow you to save for first last and deposit. For a southern three-bedroom house, 